Hello guys, members NATO's uh, fix today. We have another video. This time it is yet another video of a play or GG. Today we're doing the I Am Rio 2022 Champion Stage Pickums, and it is going to be a very hard one. So for the uh, Challenger Stage, we got six correct out of nine, which was amazing. We needed five. For the Legend Stage, we managed only three. And as anyone who followed the major will know, it was incredibly hard to get five correct pickums, as all of the results kind of ended up in a very weird uh, manner. Looking back on it, I'm still happy with the picks that I personally made because uh, Bad News Eagle Zero Three, for example, could have very well come through if FaZe would just have won their last match. And for the world number one and number two to go out and not make the playoffs, it is just incredibly unlikely. So even though we didn't get five correct, I'm still honestly pretty happy. I don't think I would have changed really anything um, looking at it. Obviously, in hindsight, it would be nicer to have the ones that made it through, right? But um, I think, you know, I'm happy with the choices that I made. Now, if you were one of the guys who got five or more correct, you should go and buy a lottery ticket right now because you are definitely among the, um, what's the, what's the opposite of majority? Minority, of course. St stupid me. Okay, going into the uh, champion stage, we have Outsiders Fnatic. I see this as a pretty 50-50 match. I've decided to go with Outsiders for this one. Reason being, they have more uh, overall experience in the major and they have more experience or at least a bigger number of players who have previously made the playoffs with that i am just thinking you know uh, <laughs> it, it seems to be the better solution i haven't been too impressed with fnatic in the challenger stage they did well in the legend stage but i had neither team to go through and i think these are probably the two uh, weakest teams in the tournament that are left in my opinion um i've decided to go with outsiders because someone pointed out that fnatic have like the best team that they have beaten in the tournament in best of threes is big who are number 15 on the world ranking and that's just not too impressive i guess it might be the same sort of story for outsiders but i just um have them with a slight edge for for this uh, particular matchup for the second match we have mouse versus cloud nine mouse i think have been playing really well and i watched their match against ends yesterday and they looked super solid with a lot of different players stepping up at different times but i do have cloud nine as one of the favorites before the tournament started to actually take the entire tournament and the trophy home so i'm going to go with cloud nine simply because i think they're just too good and we saw it in the legend stage as well for the next matchup i have team spirit versus heroic and um Again, I think it is a pretty 50-50 match, but I've decided to go with Heroic. I just have a feeling Heroic is going to win this match, and um, I think Spirit have been doing pretty well, but them beating Liquid is not going to convince me that they are an absolute top team, you know? And I just feel like Heroic has a stronger uh, kind of foundation, or at least uh, they are, have a more consistent uh, bottom level, you know? Um, so I'm hoping that they are going to do well here. Heroic also have more... Um, experience in the playoffs at least they have just overall more experienced players uh, across the board so i'm giving advantage heroic on this one for the last one furia versus navi uh, i have a feeling this is not going to be a super close match and i say that knowing that i think it could actually be in both ways in my opinion furia you know with the aggressive playstyle and a lot of moving parts and the crowd behind them it could be that they just hit a level we've just never seen before and just, you know, somehow uh, smash Navi. Not like 16-3, but maybe like 16-8 on some maps. Um, with that said, I don't find it to be the most likely outcome. I think the most likely outcome is that Navi, with their, um, you know, base level, their foundation, will just be too strong for Furia. And the worst thing that can happen if you are an aggressive team is not being able to find and exploit gaps. What Furia want is to take basically five fights across the map all at the same time. And if you're playing a team like Navi, where every player on every side of the map is very capable of winning sort of a one-on-one -on -one fight, that aggression can quickly just fizzle out. And I think the Panther from Furia may be tamed in this matchup. I've decided to give Navi the advantage for this match. And so moving into the semifinals, you can probably already guess who I'm going to pick. I'm going to go with Cloud9 as the winners of this match, as I simply think that they are the second or best team in the tournament. And the same for the other side of the bracket, I'm going to go with Navi, who I think are 
one of the top two teams left in the tournament. Now for the grand final, it's between Cloud9 and Na'Vi and um, for me, I honestly think that either could happen. If you want to play it risky, I would say uh, go with Cloud9 because I definitely think they have a solid chance at winning the tournament. But if you want to play it safe, the safe way of going about it is always taking Na'Vi. Now, taking Na'Vi will, you know, allow you to have a pretty good chance. We've seen Na'Vi be very solid over a long period of time. And then beating Fury is very likely. Then beating Heroic, I would say, is also very likely. Obviously, uh, you know, unexpected things can always happen. But the chance of them going to the Grand Final is the highest of any team in this playoff bracket. And... Since you need one correct for the semifinals and you need to correct like the correct pick for the grand final, picking Navi for the grand final is the safe and the, I guess, statistically best option you can do. But for me personally, just because I've predicted Cloud9 sort of to have an amazing tournament before the tournament started, I'm going to just send them all the way. I anyway cannot get my diamond coin um, because of the uh, slip up in the legend stage. So I've chosen to play it risky here and um, I am fully aware that this might not happen. But I can be one of the few that would have picked uh, Cloud9 if it does come through. So those are my pickems for the, not the legend stage, the champion stage of the I Am Rio 2022 Major CSGO Championship. I've been NATO Suffix for Play2GG and thank you so much for watching the video.